2021 wrap up, what I wanted to do is go through a pretty random list of wins for the year. Things in 2021 that I have really enjoyed and found valuable for my cycling. First one straight off the bat is the Infinite Nutrition Premium Fuel. Infinite Nutrition, if you're not sure, is an Australian company and their premium fuel is their competitor product to the SAS Beta Fuel or the, the, the Morton Drink Mix. The thing I liked about this was the flavoring of it. The salted caramel flavor is delicious. It's really not that sweet. It's like a salty, <laughs> salty sounds stupid, salty caramel. That's what the flavor is, but it's really nice. Something I wasn't sure I would like, but after trying it, it's a really nice flavor to have on the bike to break up the sweetness of a lot of the, the sugar drinks I have. So this is my go-to now. It's really nice having a different flavor profile than other, some of the other sweeter mixes I've used. And yeah, if we've got a big rest coming up with the team, we'll definitely try and have a few bottles of this in the car. It's really nice to have that different flavor profile coming in over a longer race. So the Infinite Nutrition Premium Fuel Salted Caramel, big win, really glad I found it this year. Next win for me is Canva Pro. Canva is a photo and video editing website. This is what I use to make my YouTube thumbnails. Thumbnails are obviously very important to get views, to get people interested and to click on your videos. So this is the thumbnail here I did for my most popular video so far, which is that climbing tips video. But there's just a whole heap of built-in tools in Canva that I just wouldn't have time to learn how to do in Photoshop. The biggest one is their um, image background remover. So this is actually a layer. Um, so what I did is just added in this image, removed the background so it just had me riding here which I can then overlay, uh, I can then change the, see how I made the background sort of darker and duller to make myself pop. Um, you then got like adding in text here, it's easy to change the colours, I've got the, you can see the shadowing behind the text as well, some nice effects there, um, and just really simple things so, um, you know, if I want to make this text pop I just cut, paste it in paste it in, just applies that, makes the text pop with that shadowing. Um, you can see it's then it's come over the front of me, so other things like different layering so I can bring myself forward, that puts the text behind me which gives it that 3D effect. Just different things like that that are available uh, on Canva. The, the stock image database on Canva, Canva Pro is also really good, so different, um, you can see these Christmas ones are popping up here, I did some uh, Christmas uh, themes for Nero coaching logos and things like that. Yeah, I've just I've used Canva for a whole heap of different things this year. Really glad I found it a really big time saver for the YouTube and for the coaching stuff I'm doing. Next win, Rafa Pro Team Shoes. These have been amazing. I was on Bonts for three or four years. Swore I would never change off them. Chris Miller convinced me to try the Pro Team shoes and they have been incredible. I really like the Bonts because of their stiffness and their support around the arch. Um, so, because my ankles tend to collapse in, so uh, I really appreciated that in the Bonts. But tr trying these, the Rafa shoes, these Pro Team shoes essentially have the same stiffness and arch support I've found, but they're just more comfortable across the upper. Um, yeah, just. All the good things that I liked about the Bonts, but more comfortable, really don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all, and just incredible. Two pairs, I can't say enough good things about these shoes. These have been an absolute game changer for me, worth every single cent, and yeah, really glad I found those shoes in 2021. Next win is the old favorite, the Wahoo Element Bolt. Had to include this because another year of having no rides lost, and it just ticks every box. It really is such an impressive product. The routing is good, like loading GPX files from my phone, bang them straight, uh, download them, open them up straight in the Element Companion app, and then bang, they load onto here straight away. No cables needed. The routing's good. I love the navigation, the the um, the workout screens, how you can zoom in and out. It's just it is just such a good product. Continues to be my go-to choice. This isn't even the new one. This is the old school one with the black and white screen. Uh, I will be sticking with this. I can't see myself upgrading for any reason. It just ticks every box and a really great product. Thank you, Wahoo Element Bolt. You've been a great companion for my cycling in 2021. Next big win for me has been today's plan, the online training website. Not really for my own training tracking. I mean, I've got my training calendar here and it's useful to have my rides upload there and for me to see my, <laughs> my decline in fitness over the, over the year, but... Um, 
It's actually for the for my running my coaching business why it's been so useful, especially as my coaching business has grown. I'm working with more riders. I need to be more time efficient and have my eyes across more data. And I won't click on it here for privacy reasons, but it's really this inbox that has been most useful for me. Having uh, all comments, questions, feedback, interactions with my riders coming through one single inbox and not have emails and WhatsApp and Messenger and all stuff coming everywhere. It's really been the inbox um, It's really helped me sustainably grow my coaching business over the year. And there's other stuff that's also been useful like the athlete management side of things that's up here that I also won't go into for privacy reasons. Um, but yeah, just there's a lot of things that today's plan has really helped me with this year as my coaching business has grown. My coaching work life would be a lot more difficult without those efficiency tools that they uh, have available. Next win, team sponsor, Maxxis Tires, Maxxis Bike Australia, imported by KWT. But in particular, the Maxxis Hyro TR, so that's the tubeless version that we all run at Nero Continental. I've mentioned this in quite a few other videos, but really, it deserves it. I hardly get any punctures. The rolling resistance is incredible. A, a true, pure race tire but with the puncture protection of like a Conti Gator skin, it really ticks all the boxes. And as much as I get frustrated sometimes when I do my tubeless setup with sealant and things like that, it, it isn't perfect, but I put myself through it every time I need to change my tires because the, the performance and the function of the, the Maxxis High Road tubeless is incredible. Uh, yeah, I, I can't say enough good things about it. So for me, it was probably a win in 2020. It's a win again in 2021. I have to mention it, a really great tire. Big thumbs up for the Maxxis Hyro TR. We'll be racing on them again in 2022 and they yeah, continue to be an outstanding product. Next win for 2021 have been these Jaybird Tara Pros. I got these earlier in the year. These are my go-to cycling headphones. I actually did a whole video reviewing these which hasn't had that many views and I put a lot of time into editing that video, so if you want a bit of a laugh, go check out uh, that video. But these have been really great cycling headphones. I use them pretty much every ride. Battery life is amazing, about 14 hours battery life, which means I'm not having to charge them after every ride. Block out wind noise really well. So far, really rugged design. This cabling has this nice braided, uh, it won't focus, but it's this really nice braided cable. Uh, magnet attachment, which just goes around the neck and can clip in. When you're, um, when you're not listening to them, so they sit there. Just a really great product. Glad I forked out the, the, their premium. They're pretty expensive, but for me, worth, worth every dollar. Really great. Um, Jaybird Tara Pro. Thank you. Really rate this product. Next win, which I have to mention, is YouTube. Making YouTube videos. I mean, I started my first video, I think I did in August, so it's been, I think, three or four months of making videos, going pretty well. Um, the videos I make are, are either things that I feel are valuable information that I would like people to have or that I would like to have been told when I was getting into cycling or if it's more of those reaction videos, it's videos that I found interesting or that I would personally want to watch someone reacting to and I'm like, oh, no one's made a reaction video to this, I'm going to make it. So um, yeah, I really enjoy making the videos. Um, they're getting good views. Thanks YouTube, I guess, for pushing them out to people. And you guys at home for clicking on them and watching them, um, commenting on them, liking on them. It's been really great. It's helped me grow my coaching business, which I'm now doing full time. And yeah, grow, grow an audience of people who, who share a similar, similar view of cycling and view of the world than I do. So yeah, a uh, big win for me was starting making YouTube videos. I had to include that one. Final win for the year, last one for this video. I'm gonna to have to put in Strava as a win. Bit of a random one, but for me, uh, well, we had lockdowns on, there wasn't much racing on. I found Strava was a really good way to engage in my cycling, I guess. Like at the start of the year, I made a big push to try and upload a photo to every ride I did. So when I was out on a ride, whether it was just a cruise, just to burn some calories, or I was doing a training session, I would try and go out of my way to find cool places and cool things to take photos of, and it just became a really enjoyable part of my, my riding experience. So really grateful to have Strava this year. I mean, I was a big Strava user anyway. I spent hours, days on Strava digging around into stuff. But yeah, just Strava this year with the year we had, it became a really integral part of my riding experience. There's a lot of other Strava premium features that I find really good as well, like the route builder I use a lot. Um, where you can overlay the heat map and overlay segments when you're building routes. 
Um, yeah, so the route builder I really like. Bush driver as a whole, really big part of my riding experience this year, which I really enjoy. So that is it for this video, guys. Uh, that's my summary of the wins for the year. Hope you found that entertaining and a bit of fun, learned something along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.